Welcome to Dam IELTS. This episode, we're going to be talking about beauty. It's one of the most difficult topics, I think, to talk about in Vietnam, but it's also one of my most passionate topics. But before we start, I want to ask myself a couple of questions. First question, Phoebe, do you think you're beautiful? I'm quite confident with what God has given me. Phoebe, are you, do you prefer tanned or pale skin? I think I prefer tanned skin for myself because I think it reflects health. Phoebe, are you completely excited about the guest today? I totally am. I think we're going to have quite a good girl talk. So I think it's time to go. Guys, let's get ready. Hello, guys. Five years ago, in I've Own Ali show, we talked about beauty. But the beauty standards change every day. And the concept of beauty five years ago and now is totally different. Right now, I'm here and I'm sitting beside a very beautiful lady in my eyes. Stunning gorgeous and I do believe in a lot of people's eyes as well she's not only beautiful physically but also mentally and inside and how she contributes to the world and can you figure out who is she mm -hmm. we're gonna be talking about beauty and I do hope that the concept of beauty in your opinion will change in a positive way after this episode so stay tuned and figure out who the guest would be oh my god I love her Vũ Phương Anh or Jun Vũ is the Vietnamese model and film actress. She's followed her family to Thailand to settle down at the age of 15. Jun Vũ is famous since she was a teenager as a model for many Thai and international fashion brands. She studied business administration at Assumptions University. In 2015, Jun Vũ made a big splash when she appeared in the video for the successful song Sao Tất Cả by singer Eric, thereby helping her confidently enter the film industry with the participation in two Vietnamese movies 12 Chòm Sao Vẽ Đường Cho Yêu Chạy and Cho Em Gần Anh Thêm Chút Nữa. In the same year, Jun Vu was awarded the Best Film Actress for the movie category at the Golden Kite Awards Ceremony. In this episode, she will share more about beauty standards in the showbiz world and her career as an actress. Let's meet her now. You just watched the video and you know who she is, the rising star actress, Zun Vu. Wow, you look gorgeous. Thank I you. Love you so much. I mean, looking at you in the movie, at the photos, you already look gorgeous, but now looking at you in real life, you're more gorgeous. <laughs> thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, thank you so much for joining us. How yeah. are you? Well, I'm good and I'm a bit nervous because mm -hmm. this is the first time I got a, a talk show in English. Yes. So, and it's also, it's been a long time I haven't spoken English. Yeah. It's been a while, so yeah, nervous. <laughs> no, it's okay. You know, when we, uh, we don't use the language that much, it is okay to make some mistakes, but the purpose of the show is to get to know more about you and for the fans to like know more about your acting and to admire your beauty. <laughs> I watch a lot of your movies. I'm impressed at your acting. But when did you first get into acting? I, I didn't show any potential in art or mm -hmm. like acting before, and I didn't even think that I have anything to do with that yes. because I was studying in, in international business management. There was yeah. nothing about art that is related to me. Mm -hmm. I just do that for fun, and then and then it came, and then I took the chance, and then it, uh, somehow I'm here. Uh, oh wow! <laughs> and, and then now I, you're a star. Yeah, I didn't really expect this coming. In my school uh, back then, 
be popular part-time job was to be a model mm. and everybody was like oh uh, you should try and I was like I'm not sure whether I can do it or not and then but then I gave it a try anyways and mm. then I went there I went to the casting and <laughs> like one after one and then I failed about like 50 times until I got my first role ever and it was the first time that I got that much amount of money and wow. that was the, the first time that the beginning of acting and mm -hmm. it was only for TVC mm -hmm. and then afterward um, I got invited into acting in a short movie yes. for for Bae Chan yeah. uh, in Vietnam afterwards uh, I get to know him and then he got a role in the movie and he yeah. invited me to come to the casting and then yeah. I got to talk to the director for the first time mm. I've never I've never thought that I could act in a movie before, mm -hmm. and I, I didn't really think that I could get the role, but then I gave it a try anyway, and uh, I shot the movies, and yes. it was my first leading role ever, my first movie ever, and then mm. I won some trophies. The movie won some trophies. It was when I hold the, it was when I held the trophy in my hand, yeah. and then I was like, I really thought that. I didn't really deserve it because I I, I was so new. I, it was my first leading role ever. I didn't think I was that good. The new to, face. To, yeah, I didn't think I deserved that. Wow. Yeah. So in Vietnam, we say that uh, we don't choose the job, but like the occupation. Yeah, it's like us. something like that, and it, yeah, it applied to me. Wow, and uh, you're holding, you're the owner of so many trophies about acting. You have millions of followers on social media. Um, you know, the face a lot of directors want to get you into their movies as well. So looking back about your accomplishment, um, what is the accomplishment or the landmark that, you know, make you the most proud of? Mm, the most proud of? And make the Jun Vu now, <laughs> as she is. <laughs> I don't know, because I didn't really get that much, that many trophies, but... Mm -hmm. um, uh, my landmark, I think it was the Thang Nam Jitsu, the Go Go Sister yes. movie, because it was when I finished my, my um, bachelor degree, mm -hmm. and then I went back to Vietnam, and then I decided to stay there for, for the professional career of the actor. Mm -hmm. And um, it was also the first time that I got that much attention from the audience, and it was the first time that I felt like all my hard work has paid off, because... Yes. Um, the first two movies that mm -hmm. I act, uh, yeah. I was a leading role, but then it wasn't popular. Mm -hmm. And so I, I didn't really think that I, I, I'm i doing the right thing. I was kind of mm, questioning myself mm -hmm. until, the, until that time, until that movie. It was a small role. I didn't expect people to remember from that mo remember me from that movie because all the actress they spend like one month mm. on in in Dalat to yeah. to film the movie, and mm -hmm. I spent only like half a month because my my role there wasn't many scenes of me, mm -hmm. and I didn't even have many lines to talk. And and, and I think I thought that when the movie came out, they will not remember my face because. Mm -hmm. I didn't show up that much. You thought but that? Then, yeah, I thought that. <laughs> and then uh, when uh, the movie came out and I went yeah. to the signature, and then when I came, I went in the toilet, and then people start screaming, and I was like, why are they screaming? <laughs> and then I realized that they were screaming for me, and I was like, since when did I become famous? Oh my god! <laughs> and then I was, I was like, uh, I was amazed. And uh -huh. I, I don't know, I really... Uh, kind of freak out because yes. I never got that reaction to me before. I had to say, I really thank them for that. Mm -hmm. And that somehow encouraged me to yes. do more of the work and to become a professional actress, I think. You know, because um, I'm very curious because your acting, your performance in Thang Nam Zuzu is flawless. I mean, I always remember the image of you sitting at the window, reading the book or something in the window, the wind is just like flowing through your hair. It's just so beautiful. And you don't need to talk anything. Your facial expression is so good. So I'm curious, is that your ability, um, is your innate ability, or is something that you learn throughout the way, through workshops or trainings? Actually, I have to say that I didn't, I wouldn't rate myself that good back then. Because yeah. um, back then, I didn't really have uh, much experience about acting. I mm -hmm. didn't really came, uh, I didn't really get to study about acting that much mm -hmm. before. Um, it was lucky of me, I think, yeah. that the director chose me for that 
for that role because I suit that role. I, that's what I thought. I think in order to act in a role, mm -hmm. if you have a real experience in yes. real life, it's better, it's easier mm -hmm. for you to feel the character. But then sometimes there are some things that you couldn't feel. For example, that character is blind. You've never been blind before. How can you do that? Oh, you can't just yes. blind for yourself. Yeah. And I think it's all about imagination. And we all have some kind of sympathy yeah. when you, for example, when we read the script, when we mm -hmm. read something on the internet, we all kind of feel sympathy for the, mm -hmm. the, 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 character. the character that we are reading about. Yes. So we need, as an actor, we need to mm -hmm. use that to feel the character that we are playing in order to be the character. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Uh, the director? Yes. Normally they choose the actor who is close to the to the to the character of the movie. Yes. So that's partly the reason why I got uh, chosen into some roles. Mm -hmm. And for the role that I for the character that I've mm -hmm. never had the experience before and I still have to to uh, to be them. Mm -hmm. Well, it's it's a lot of work. We, normally actors we have uh, workshops before the movie workshops. and um, it's the personal workshop, mm. the thing that you have to do with your character. You have, you have to read it, you have to think about it, you have to make background stories uh, of the character. And it's your own character, so it's however you like it. And then from that, yes. you, they become, it becomes your character, and then you can act based on that. And uh, in the workshop, it's not only about yourself, it's also about your character, your chemistry with the other actors, the mm -hmm. other characters. So we have personal workshop, we have workshop with that director, which is like mm -hmm. blocking for blocking and stuff, and then yes. workshop with other actors as well. Yes. Yes. Wow. So, I don't know, because I wouldn't say that I did a really good job, but mm -hmm. then um, it's all that I can, can do back then is I, I tried my best. It's a rule for myself. I put mm. it up for myself that yes. I will not take any. I, I will not interfere in any decision of the of how the character will have to look like. Yes, it's up to the director and the makeup to decide. Mm -hmm. In the movie, mm -hmm. I'm the character. I will not care about how I look or how yes. I have to look like. It's yeah. up to the director and it's up to the script. Mm -hmm. If I have to look ugly, then I will look ugly. Whenever I look at you, the photos on the social media, and now looking at you, you're always radiating um, a positive energy and also <laughs> like a beautiful image. But I'm wondering from, from a, pers a personal experience of you, as a person who's very talented and very beautiful, do you have ever have a moment where you feel like, oh, I'm not that pretty? Or like, what do you think about the beauty standards? I have what? to say all the time. All I, the time? I'm, I'm not very confident in myself, that's why I... Wow, that's surprising <laughs> well, to hear. Because actually, when I before I became a model yeah. at first, yeah, I was like more of like a gamer. Mm -hmm. I have a gamer life. I play game all the time. Yeah. I even stay up all night to, just to play games. So I always have like eye bags, and yeah. I have like my skin is not really glowing. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how to take care of myself back then, yes. until I start the career as a model, and then I know how to take care of myself more. I know how to make myself look prettier. Yeah. And I know how what to wear and stuff like that. And then, n until now, when I become an actress, I, mm -hmm. I just know how to make myself look good yeah. more than before. Mm -hmm. Which means that I'm not very confident in me, <laughs> <laughs> because like I, I'm not very confident in in showing up with my my bare face without makeup. Because mm -hmm. I don't know. I've I've never felt that I pretty that I'm pretty. I, I used to think that I'm ugly, and then. It's the carrier that changed me. It's the carrier uh, that, that makes me take care of myself more. And yeah. then it's the audience that, that they say that I'm pretty. And then I would start to believe that, oh, maybe I'm not that ugly. And then, uh, you know, I, it's just like they gave me a lot of um, courage to, mm. to, yeah, to believe in myself more, yes. to believe that I can act, to believe that I am not ugly, mm -hmm. to believe that I am not, um, you know, I can do it. I don't know. You can pursue your career. Yeah, yes. I think that this career changed me a lot. Yes, from someone who doesn't know how to take care of uh, herself mm -hmm. to someone that uh, now uh, is what you see now. And mm. I know that I know my strength. I know my my weakness. I know what That's to right. wear. I know mm -hmm. how to make myself look pretty. So it's a really great thing, and I really appreciate to be in this career. Mm.
That's what makes you beautiful. And I think the beauty standards vary from this person to another person, but confidence and the belief in yourself makes you 100% attractive. So that, it's, it's, it's from the inner, it's from, yes, it's inside out. So people can see that you're confident. So that's when you're the prettiest. That's what I think. I totally agree. I think that being insecure is something that we all experience. Our beauty queen, our actress, yes, insecure. I am insecure as well. And I think you're maybe some, somehow at some point in your life you feel insecure as well. But that is totally normal. Um, but I think what is most more important thing is that we are trying to be more confident and trying to find the moment that make us feel the prettiest. And it's a long process, it's a long journey and we have to take step by step and it's gonna yeah. be okay. You're pretty. And for me, Junbu is pretty Everyone because of her work. It's pretty of their own way. It's how, yeah, it's pretty in her, their own way. It's because of her work and how she contributes to the acting career and to the, you know, the professional world and everything, so. You're pretty. You're pretty too. <laughs> That's so interesting to listen to your stories and have more insights into your occupation. And more importantly, we touch on the aspects of being pretty in different ways. So before we learn about that, we talk more about that, please move to IELTS on the go and discover this university. Next on IFO Nightly Show. Hi guys, this is Chang Yong and right now I'm on Nguyen Van Gu Street, Bắc Ninh Province. <music> Hi guys, this is Chang Yong and right now I'm on Nguyen Van Gu Street, Bắc Ninh Province. Can you guess which university in Bắc Ninh are we visiting today? Well, let's join me in this journey and figure it out. And yes, we're visiting Bắc Ninh Sport University of Vietnam. And luckily, today I'm not alone. I have a special guest who is a current student of this university. And now, please welcome Tu Linh. Hello Tu Linh. It's great to have you on the show. So, can you introduce yourself a little bit to our audience? Hi guys, I'm Ling. I'm a student at Bangi Sport University. My major is Physical Education and now I'm learning about badminton. Wow, cool. So, can you be our tour guide today and show me what is so special about your university? Sure, it's my pleasure. Alright, let's go! So as before mentioned, you said you major in badminton, um, a very commonly asked question in this section. Can I ask why did you choose this major? Well, one day I saw Tian Ming on TV and he played badminton so well. And um, I remember that he had to run quickly around the court to hit the saddle. Mm -hmm. And from that time, I feel like badminton has something really interesting and amazing. So you just mentioned um, Anh Tiến Minh, right? Yeah. Um, I, I also know that there are a lot of renowned celebrities yeah. in the sports industry that used to study at your university. So my school has trained many famous athletes like uh, Ding Chok and uh, Thuy Linh. They are all students at Bangni Sport University. And as you can see now, they are de dedicating themselves to Vietnam sport industry. Uh, so you major in badminton. I suppose you play badminton every single day, right? Or is there any other subject that you have to study at school? Even I'm in badminton class, but during four years study at school, I can play and learn all the sport. Besides studying sport, we have to uh, study uh, mathematical statistics, uh, general law or wow. uh, psychology. So there are four major in our school, uh, sport, biomedical science, physical education, um, sport management, and uh, coaching sport. So badminton is a part of physical education, I suppose? Yes. Can I ask, like, before entering the school, which subjects do you have to partake in? Well, when you want to enter to our school, mm -hmm. you have to study uh, biology, 
uh, math and maybe some language like English or Chinese like uh, have a test about the physics like uh, running or jumping to test your uh, to test your physics Wow so you also need intelligence and good physical health yes. to get into this school Wow you're so talented I'm really surprised Anyway in the next part we're going to find out more about some unique spots of your university and I hope Tu Ling can be our tour guide sure. Guys in the next part we're going to find out more about some unique spots so stay tuned and don't go anywhere Ta đều sinh ra với những số phận khác nhau, những cái ngày muốn vươn mình trước trời gió đầy khát khao. Và chẳng cần cậu phải nói một lời nào, mình vẫn cảm nhận được một trái tim đầy hoài bão háo hức và nôn nao. Welcome back to the show and we're having a conversation with our actress Zun Wu in I've O Niley show and now we're going to be talking about the beauty standards and I think it's such an amazing topic to talk to with the star of beauty in the acting world I might say. <laughs> so you know you have a very interesting background. Um, you've moved to Thailand when you were 15 years old, um, you was born in, in the north, in yeah, Hanoi, in Hanoi yes. and then now you're living in Saigon, yeah. you, you know, exposing to different cultures. So um, do you think that the concept of beauty is defined differently in the societies, in different societies? Yeah, I think that we are, uh, nowadays we have chances. Yes to browse the internet, to watch TV, to, to watch movies from different countries. And we get to see beauty queens from different countries, from mm -hmm. different races. And um, it's hard to really define mm. who's pretty and who's not. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So yeah. I agree to that, to that quote because mm -hmm. I can only tell someone is pretty when I see them and then it, it just, what comes to my mind mm -hmm. from the first time looking at them. It, I cannot tell like what in them that is pretty. It's just, yes. you're pretty, that's all. It's based on the feelings and how it's we feel. It's based on the feeling, yeah. yes. We can be beautiful and pretty in different ways. We can also be beautiful in our own way. We don't need anyone to say that you're pretty. It's just that's that right. I just have to look in the mirror. I just have to like how I look today and mm -hmm. then I feel pretty about it. Mm -hmm. And then that's how I feel pretty. Yeah. And that's when you look the prettiest. Yeah, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I do believe that the concept of beauty standards now is totally different from a hundred years ago. Uh, the beauty of standards just change every day in every society. Um, so what sort of things do you think affect our concept of beauty? Um, to me, beauty divides into two parts. Yes. Physical beauty and, and inner beauty. Yeah. So uh, physical beauty is what you see. Mm -hmm. from the first sight, you can feel that this person looks pretty and that's yeah. just all about the look. Mm -hmm. But for inner beauty, you have to you have to get to know them mm -hmm. and you have to see whether this person is really nice from from the inside, I mean. Yes. Yeah, so uh, to me, that's two different things. Mm -hmm. And, you know, sometimes when you meet someone that's really pretty, they're really good looking, but then they they are not that nice nice yeah. yeah and then the whole thing just like yeah. it collapse yeah wow. <laughs> so i so, can feel that so yeah it's it affects a lot it's, mm -hmm. the, the inner beauty affects a lot but then to be honest mm -hmm. when you first meet someone the, the the first thing that you that that attracts you is the physical beauty first yes. yeah and then that's why we have to take care of ourselves all the time because mm -hmm. if you look good, if, uh, if you look pretty, then people yeah. kind of like you from the first impression and then they will have time, will try to know you more and then that's when you get the chance for people to know you. So mm -hmm. that's why we always, have, we always have to take care of ourselves first. 
both inside out, I think. Wow, that's a very practical advice, I think. And ourselves is the very first person that we should take care of, like take good care of from the tiny thing in our life. Maybe stay hydrated, drink water, yeah, drink more maybe water, smile sleep more, more. <laughs> yeah, sleep more. And that's not only for other people to look at, it's also for yourself because mm -hmm. you feel more confident, you feel happy when you see yourself in the mirror and you look pretty, mm -hmm. you feel happy about it. It's yeah. not only for others, it's for yourself as well. That's right, for yourself first and for yeah. others to look maybe the second. <laughs> yeah. For yourself first and to feel good is to look good. Yeah. Inside okay. and outside. Wow, that's, that's very amazing. And I think this is also a message for the audience who are watching that just take care of yourself and showing yourself the ultimate respect. And that is when you attract what you deserve because you deserve the best. You just need to become the best version of yourself and then everything will come into the good place. So how about you take care of your inner self? Like when you're sad, when you're negative, how do you When do? I'm stressed, I usually listen to music. Cause mm -hmm. I don't know, it somehow makes me feel way better. And music also a way that I will use to change my feeling when I need to act in, in a movie. Yes. When, when I need the mood to, to feel, to act in the movie, I will listen to music. I will listen to sad music when I need to feel sad. Ah. I, listen, I listen to happy music when I need to light my mood up. Yeah, something wow, like that. Wow, same. So it I do the me same. Lot, yeah. Nice. So, it's, you know, we have different ways of taking care of ourselves physically and mentally. So for those who are still insecure and who say, oh, I'm not pretty, or like, I cannot, I can never be as pretty as her, as pretty as I them. I got that feeling before. What Trust you me, say? you're not the only one. I felt that before too. Yes. I, I used to feel that I'm very ugly and then, you know, there was like a wish, wish paper that yeah. you write in there mm -hmm. and then you put it in the bottle. I used to do that. I used wow. to write that I wish that I could become prettier. And then I did that because I was so insecure about myself back then. So mm -hmm. you're not the only one if you ever feel that before, but then you can change that. You're, you're the only one who yeah. can change that. And you're the only one who can make you feel prettier and look prettier. And that decision is in your hand. So please, first of all, believe in yourself. Second of all, take care of yourself and know that you're not alone. Everyone is pretty in their own ways. So you can see, we consider a lot of things beautiful, maybe inside, maybe outside. And for me, one of the beautiful things is the time we spend at college. So now please move back to IFO on the go to continue to discover this university, the college time. And when we get back, we'll have a talk with Chi Zun Wu about her student life. Welcome back everyone, so here we are at the gymnasium where badminton and sepak takraw take place. Is this place familiar to you? Yeah, I have to come here like twice or three days a week to mm -hmm. practice, learn about my major. So this is the place where your major takes place, right? Yes, that's right. You know, I'm really curious about what is uh, what a day of a sports student is like? So can you tell us a little bit more about your daily schedule? Uh, in the morning, we will study according to our school schedule. Mm -hmm. And in the afternoon or in the evening, we will join some sport activities mm -hmm. like playing badminton, or running, or go swimming, or playing volleyball. And of course, I want to play badminton as well as Tien Ming, so I usually come here mm -hmm. <laughs> to practice badminton. Okay. I, I guess happiness really comes from the fact that you get to play with your friends, the one that you love, and also uh, your favorite sport as well. Yeah. All right, so this is the indoor space. I'm really curious what the outdoor space has to offer. So let's go and explore around. Shall we go? Hi, we're now at a gigantic complex stadium. I once heard a famous saying, um, it is regarding commitment, there are only two options, either you're in or you're out. And I think that uh, really portrays um, sport spirit. Uh, about the sportsmanship, uh, there are three kinds of elements, uh, fairness, uh, respect for opponent, and business, even you winning or losing. Wow, that's amazing. Um, anyway, I really want to bring up another um, a myth that people often have. 
like people often have a prejudice that only um, the people who are good academically are smart. But I think um, physical intelligence is also a part of the um, eight types of intelligence. What do you think about this? Uh, I think it could be true. Like when we play sport, we have to move our body yeah. and we have to think in our mind like um, what we should do mm. next to win this uh, competition. Mm. Okay, so I, I, I suppose that it's really difficult to coordinate all the body parts yeah. to execute physical exercises, right? Um, probably that's the reason why a lot of um, prestigious universities in the world, such as uh, Harvard University or Yale University, uh, are ready to you know, give scholarships and straight admissions to those that have um, amazing sports achievements. You know, what is so amazing about sports is that it is always pushing people to go faster, stronger and higher as well. And Tu Ling, do you have any final advice for um, those would-be applicants for your university? Sure. Uh, when you want to enter to our school, you should prepare a good health and you should have uh, always have the, the serious attitude with your major uh, and with your, your spot you choose and be confident, that's all. So I suppose it is attitude, skill and knowledge, Com right? Yeah. It has been a wonderful journey with Tu Ling as my company. We have also taken a closer look at Buckning Sport University. I believe that it would be a great reference for um, sports enthusiasts who are not so sure of their future path and really want to go into a sport university. Guys, thank you so much for joining us and thank you Tu Ling so much for um, sharing such insightful information about your university. Now let's get back to the studio. Bye! Welcome back to I've Own Nali Show. We're here with Chi Zun Wu, our beautiful and talented actress. And now let's talk about your student life. Okay. So you spent maybe eight years in Thailand. Yeah, I spent eight years in Thailand. Ah, oh, สวัสดีค่ะ. สวัสดีค่ะค่ะยินดีที่ได้รู้จักนะคะ. Ah,ตอนนี้ได้รู้จักนะคะ. สวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมากสวยมาก
Apart from math and physics and all that kind of stuff, we get to choose uh, extracurriculars. So yes. that's when we get to know each other more. Mm -hmm. And I got friends with some really nice people. Yeah. Okay, so note taking, join the extracurricular activities at school to find good friends. Well, <laughs> so, for me, I don't know if it applies to I, you too. Yeah, <laughs> I think it applies the same to me as well. So how about university? Like you studied business, didn't you? Yeah, business. Because uh, actually I didn't know what to take when mm. I came to the university and my mom made some choice for me. Yeah. She was like, oh, okay, you can be a lawyer or <laughs> you can be an architect or you can be uh, a business person. The so, common goal of parents, Vietnamese <laughs> yeah, parents. Yeah, common parents. Yes. So I was like, okay, I really like drawing, but I don't like drawing with, with ruler. Mm -hmm. So I don't want architect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't like drawing with ruler. I really like freehand drawing. Yes, pass. And I'm not good with remembering, so I cannot be a lawyer. Pass. <laughs> so yeah, my only choice was to be in the business school. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just, yeah, if it makes you happy, I'll do it, because I didn't really think of what I would be when I graduate yet. Yeah. So that's when I, I, I went into the business school, and then in the middle of the third year, I started my, my career as a model, mm -hmm. and then I act in some movies, mm -hmm. and that's when I, I know what I want to be in the future. Wow. So, so it's, it's kind of late, but it's better than nothing. Wow, that's right. It's never late to realize your passion and to follow your career. And maybe the major you follow during the college does not really match with your career but right now. But it helped now. me. It but it helped a me. lot. Yeah. How does it help you? Well, uh, <laughs> in kind of um, marketing, because yeah. you know, in international business management, you have to know everything about the business, mm. including marketing and PR and stuff like that. So when it comes to movies, mm -hmm. when it comes to, you know, you have to make a, 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 an image of yourself. Yes. You know how to make it um, in the right way. Yeah. Yeah. And you also learn the way to market yourself as yeah, well. Yeah, I know. And I learned how to market myself. I don't know if I did a great job of that, but it helped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also um, the job as, um, TVC model is also help in my my school, uh, my yeah. school work because like project, right? yeah, like some projects I help uh, like um, I, I get to know people mm -hmm. in real life through my jobs and then I can ask them for help for, for school work because yes. sometimes I have to interview them and sometimes mm -hmm. I have to invite them for school events or sometimes I have to ask for their experience in order to make their to complete my project in school. Uh -huh. yeah. So when you was a student, what was the most important thing to you? I don't, I don't know, I'm not a competi competitive, competitive person yes. because I, I, I don't know, I'm not very good with competition. But then it's something worth to try and I, de I decided to try in my last year of uh -huh. uni. So yeah, I joined a competition, a marketing competition with my team. Wow. And yeah, I didn't, I just joined for fun. I didn't expect that, but I won the award. And it's something that I, I really appreciate myself for, for taking the chance to do that because I never know I could do that, yeah. So I think learning the university helps us to like pursue things at the, until the end. And that yeah. is the persistence we need in our work as well. Wow, so about for the advice for those who are students who are still trying to balance their work life, what would be your piece of advice for the students watching? I think the thing that I regret the most is uh, was um, I should participate in, in extracurricular earlier at uni mm. and I should participate in competition earlier because it's it's not a matter whether you win or not. It, it, it doesn't matter. It's just you'll have a lot of memories with that yes. and you'll regret later because I think that um, for working people like us, uni yeah. and, and school time was the best time yes. in our life. So. Mm -hmm. Try everything you can back then because that's when you still have time. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, in Vietnamese quote, they say, thời gian đã đi qua là thời gian đẹp nhất. The time that is gone is still the best time. So please enjoy while it lasts. The college time is the best. And sometimes maybe you can romanticize your college life because who knows, that will be one of the best lives ever. Yes, and college time is the most rewarding time and also the most challenging time. How about we take on the challenge? And this I have on Alicia with a challenge for Chi Zun Bu. Let's get started. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. We're ready? Nung Song Sap. 
F-O challenge. Yay! <laughs> okay, so here comes the challenge. I love this challenge. Um, the production crew will hand me um, the earphone. This is earphone challenge. And we're gonna take turn, Thank put you. on the earphone, and just based on the mouth and the facial expression to guess what the actual word is, like the keyword. So Okay, I'm excited. <laughs> you're gonna do first. You're gonna put it on the headphone first. Right, okay. All right. Let's get started. Oh my god. Can you hear me? Okay. Do it. Not my circus. Is it? It's a six word. Six, six words. words. Six yes, words. six words. Six or seven? Six. 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 Is it Vietnamese or? English. 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 Yes. That's right. Six words. Not my circus. Sir? Not my circus. Not my monkeys. Can we do? Can we have some acting? Can we have some acting? Not. Like, no. Not. No. Not. N not. Not my, my, not my circus. <laughs> Fun. Cir circus, circus. Swimming. Let's do it, do at the feet. Dancing. Circus. Okay. Not, not my, my monkeys. Not my monkeys. Yes, that's right. Not my. Not my monkeys. Not my circus. Reverse it. Not my. Not circus. Circus, Not, not my, my monkey. monkey. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Twenty twenty two. Sway? Twenty? Sway? Twenty two. <coughs> sway? Is it? Sway? Is it Vietnamese? Uh, English, English. English. Twenty. How many words? Um, three. Three. Two words. Three words. Okay. Twenty. Sway? Twenty. Swing? Two. Swing two. Twenty, twenty two. Twenty? 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 Swing. Twenty? 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 Twenty, twenty swing. Two. Two. Yeah! 20 swing 2? No! 20, 22! Swing 22! <laughs> 20, 20, 20, 20, 22! 20, 22! 20, 22! <laughs> Alright, um, All right. you know this. Go, go, sister! Go, 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 sister! 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 I think, I think, I think, okay. please. Go, go, sister, 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 sister! Ah, go go sister! Yeah, that's right! <laughs> eight words. Vietnamese. Mm. Eight words. Muốn? 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 Muốn ăn cả thế giới, muốn ăn sách văn lô lên <cười> Muốn ăn cá Muốn ăn bắp đá Muốn ăn cá, cá, cá Muốn ăn bơi cả cá, cá, cá Muốn ăn cả Cá Muốn ăn cả đá lên nè <cười> Cá đang bơi Muốn ăn cá, cá. cá. Muốn ăn cá. cá Cá đúng rồi, muốn, muốn ăn, ăn cá. cá Muốn ăn cá cả Muốn ăn cá cả Muốn ăn cá cả Muốn, muốn ăn, ăn cá cả, cả. Muốn ăn cả, cả câu dài không? Thả, phải thả câu dài Muốn ăn cá cả thì phải thù dài Phải Phải, 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 phải. Thả Thả Câu Cần câu Ừ, câu Dài Câu dài Muốn ăn cá cả phải thả câu dài 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 words 5 words English English okay. Everything 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 but 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 Everything but The Kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Okay, kitchen. table, chair, kitchen, table. kitchen, kitchen. Cut, cooking, cut, cooking. Shopping. Yeah, yeah, kitchen in the kitchen. Every cooking in the everything kitchen. Everything but you. The kitchen, kitchen, kitchen. Everything but the kitchen. Everything, everything but, but kitchen. kitchen. Sink. Everything but kitchen. kitchen. Wait, what? Everything but kitchen. Sink. Sink. Washing, washing the clothes. Yes, sink. Sink. Every Everything but, but the sink. Yeah, everything but the kitchen sink. Everything but singing in the sink. <laughs> okay, everything but. but. Yeah, Go everything on. but, okay. The kitchen, the kitchen, kitchen. swimming. Kitchen, huh? kitchen. Kitchen, everything, everything but the kitchen sink. Yeah! <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Oh, I love that. Nine words. Nine words. <laughs> 정장감. I. 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 Scream. I scream. I scream. I scream. You. You. Scream. Scream. <laughs> I scream. You I, scream. I scream. You scream. We. 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 All scream. We always scream. We, we all, all scream. scream. I scream. I scream. You scream. We all scream. For ice cream. Ice cream. For ice on every show. <laughs> for ice cream. I'm for ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. You, you scream. scream. We all scream. scream for ice cream. cream. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>last today um, I love talking to you so much I love you love and now you. oh the more I talk to you the more I love you and I really respect your contribution to the acting um, professional world and I hope that your endeavor in the future just be successful and I I will come to this uh, I will visit the cinema to watch all of your movies so you have one ticket promise for me. Promise, promise, and also a lot of audience from I Have Own Every Show. Yeah, okay, um, thank you for inviting me, for having me today, and thank you for watching the show. Mm. I really enjoy the show today. Mm, that's amazing. So I hope that we just give you a shot of positivity and also like believe in yourself and um, believe to like, you know, pursue your career. And the final words, Thank you so much and this is I've Own Island Show and give it up for Zunbu. the lights we gonna lose our mic tonight what's the deal yo i love when it's all too much 5 a.m turn the radio up where's the rock and roll party crash your panty snatcher call me off if you are gangster don't be fancy just get dancy why so serious so raise your class if you are wrong In you know all the right ways All my underdogs We will never be, never be anything but loud And needy, greedy, dirty little freaks Won't you come on and come on and raise your class Come on and come on and raise your class Slam, slam, all hot damn What part of party don't you understand? Wish you just freak out Can't stop coming in hot I should be locked up right on the spot It's so on right now Party crash, your panty snatcher Call me off if you a gangster Don't be fancy, just get dancy why so serious? So raise your class if you are wrong You know the right ways All my underdogs We will never be, never be anything but loud And needy, greedy, dirty little freaks Won't you come on and come on and raise your class Come on and come on and raise your class Won't you come on and come on and raise your class just come on and come on and raise your class Mmm, I feel nightly show, it's a new season Hello, if you're too school for cool And you're treated like a fool You can choose to let it go We can always, we can always Party on our own So raise your so raise your class if you are wrong You know the right ways, all oh my underdogs We will never be, never be anything but loud And needy, greedy, dirty little freaks So raise your class if you are wrong You know the right ways, all oh my underdogs We will never be, never be anything but loud And needy, greedy, dirty little freaks won't you come on?
on and come on and raise your glass. Come on and come on and raise your glass. Won't you come on and come on and raise your glass? Just come on and come on and raise your glass. ไปหน่อยหนึ่งสองสามโอเคบัดเดิลเนี่ยนั่นชิบเอ่อ is attributed ชุดได้ชุดสีเนี่ยเป็นชุดนะได้ชุดนะคะขอบคุณที่ได้